Hello everybody, it's Mark Dilworth and Lori LaRoe back the uh, either version 5, version 4 or version 5 of the straight shooter. Here's what we wanted to do today. Literally in the last two days, June statistics have come out from the Northeast mm -hmm. Florida Association of Realtors and um, this is also June and year to date. A couple interesting things I wanted to just point out to you. The number of new listings uh, is down 5%. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Pending sales are up almost 17%. Closed sales are pretty much even year to date from last year. I think part of that is, is there's a lot of still pent up contracts and short sales that just don't get worked through in a timely manner. And then the other thing, interesting thing I'd say to you is that the median sales price, which is $132,000, that's up year to date 5%. And the average sales price, which is 177, that's up 6%. So, without or at the risk of sounding like a typical realtor, which by the name, the straight shooter, we really do try to play it straight with you. If you guys are looking for an investment property, I honestly think, and I think Lori would agree, now is the time. And we're bouncing off the bottom. Higher price range, we may have a little ways to go, but clearly in that zero to $200,000 range, this is the time. Yeah, they are going. Uh, they're going really quick. There's a lot more investors in the market this year than what we've seen in probably two years. Because I think they're realizing that finally prices are starting to inch back up, and uh, there's a lot of opportunity out there for investors to get in at kind of crazy prices. I mean, depending on what side of town, you can get a house for forty thousand dollars now which is crazy. Right. And uh, there's investors that are seeing um, that as a wealth building opportunity to get into those um, investment properties and hold them and have positive cash flow. Easy to do right so, now. So are you seeing, like buyers are buying, for the most part, on cash flow now, not on the hopes of appreciation? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's a, you know, I've got, um, we were talking earlier, um, I, I've got buyers, first time home buyers that got into the market two or three years ago and they're seeing this opportunity to be a landlord and to have positive cash flow. And, and they're going at it hard. Right. I mean, they're really excited about it. Um, and then you have the other investor that is still making money on doing flips. So um, the investors are definitely hitting the market hard right now. So I think that's great. That's a great, great sign. I think, I, I think right now, if, I, <clears throat> if and when I get back in, it'll be a buy and hold thing. Yeah. It'll be a buy and hold. And, and I shouldn't say if, it'll be when I get back in. It, it will be all over buy and hold. Yeah. No question about that. Yeah. Um, what else? Talk to me real quickly because this came up in one of our meetings. Lack of saleable inventory. Oh. You know what I've seen so much and, and talk to everybody out throughout the office and even in the industry. Something that we're seeing now that we haven't seen since the good old days are the multiple offer situation. Good houses are coming on the market, they're priced well because sellers are realistic, and um, they've got a handful of offers to look over in the first week they're on the market. So, especially in the beaches area, right. holy cow, we don't have enough inventory for the buyers that are out there. So great for the sellers right now, um, and I don't really want to say it's a seller's market, but gosh, if you've got a great house at the beach, and you're thinking about selling, call me. Yeah. I, I really, I think it is a seller's market. Yeah. In certain price ranges and certain locations, it certainly is. And it's the same way we've opened up an uh, Amelia Island office as well. It's the same thing up there. And, and we'll cut this thing short here. But what I, what I wanted to say, and, and help me out with this, is that what I'm seeing behind my desk is that we're still not in an equilibrium port point between seller's emotions and buyer's emotions because buyers are still coming in on a $150,000 house and offering $110,000 right. and then losing it because there's multiple offers, you know, at a full price. Right. So we are there. We're we're there. And it's it just makes um, our job harder in um, educating those buyers and saying, listen, you can't be as aggressive as you were last year. You got to be real this year. And it even shows that here on our uh, statistics, um, original percent of original list price received. It's over 90% now. Yeah. So there's, you know, and I even had one um, in Neptune Beach. It went for 
what, 8% over list price. Right. Like that. The one on first. Yeah. Yeah. So um, if it's listed and it's a, if that's a real number, don't be aggressive because you won't get the house. Yeah, it'll go. All right, guys, here's the thing. Feel free to call Lori. Feel free to call myself. Give me your cell phone. 904-868-7224. 904-591-6976. Both of us have about 35 pages of each market and their stats. So if you want to know something about Riverside or if you want to know something about Jack's Beach, call us. We'll get you all the information. Absolutely. Have Thanks, a great guys. summer.